Hey, how's it going? Remember in my last video where I talked about how I didn't want to be a part of that uh, compilation video? And as much as I like Liz Reptile and recommend subscribing to her channel, uh, this video that uh, she put together, a compilation of a lot of different people's responses, um, contains some things I'm just not much of a fan of and would rather not have people look at that video and then point at me and say that I believe some of these same things. Because there's some shit that's being said that I'm just like, holy shit. You know, some of the feminists are, are, are asking you, I mean, the, the essential thing that they're asking is, why are so many of you so bigoted? And the answer is basically, we're not, and here, let us prove how bigoted we are. Granted, not all of it was that way. There were some pretty good responses within there. But these ones that stuck out, I think, were just awful. Just fucking awful. It's, again, it's like saying, well, you know, we're, we're not bigoted, but here, let me prove that we are. It's weird. So, here are the worst responses, as far as I'm concerned. And I'll interject once in a while. But here we go. How do you reconcile this claim to be evidence-based and rational and logical against stuff like, oh, I was just trolling you, oh, I was just shitposting, or TLDR? Because we understand we can get a reaction out of you. The anti-SJWs want to hunt the big bad wolf with mockery or trolling, so that when you commit your cry-bullying tactics against us, we can expose your hypersensitivity or equally hyper-ironic Orwellian malicious nature. We are entertainers first. Going after the low-hanging fruit more often than not results in a more entertaining video. What you call whining, we call debunking. The difference is, we use facts and logics. And we do talk about real problems and issues. Even provide solutions. You just refuse to listen to anything outside your safe spaces and echo chambers. You talk about the problems and you talk about solutions? The only problems that you seem to talk about is the fact that you don't like what SJWs say. But you know, maybe you could use your logics to actually discuss answers for problems other than what like a lot of the uh, anti-SJWs say are things like, well, you know, black people commit more crimes. Black people commit more crimes. Is that okay to you? Is that a good answer? Let's just demonize a whole group. Muslims are bad. Muslims are bad. Muslims are bad. No, not all Muslims, but Muslims are bad. Yeah, those are such great solutions. Great, you know. When do solutions get talked about? Well, those are the solutions. We need to get people, more people to, to agree that Muslims are bad. But not all Muslims, but Muslims are bad. Systemic racism against black people does not exist. And no systemic system of oppression against any people does that system allow the oppressed people to then rise to the highest office in the land. I'm speaking specifically of President Barack Hussein Obama. Lock your doors, don't let anyone in, and load your gun. You are a target now because you are white. Isn't it offensive to men to assume that a man could only ever want equality for women and therefore be comfortable with feminism as a whole in order to get laid and that reduces us to beasts? If that was the case, wouldn't I attempt to get laid from my views instead of not ever trying that? We're a different community with different values, you know. We would never consider something as vague and trivial as that to possibly be sexist. As trivial as what? He just talked about... Look, look at this again. Isn't it offensive to men to assume that a man could only ever want equality for women and therefore be comfortable with feminism as a whole in order to get laid and that reduces us to beasts? If that was the case, wouldn't I attempt to get laid from my views instead of not ever trying that? Let's look at the key phrases that he just said and then apply it again. Want equality for women? We would never consider something as vague and trivial as that to possibly be sexist. Even towards men, which is something that we do talk about and do discuss with open opinions. Is the wrong clip lined up with the wrong clip? The only reason a man would ever become a feminist nowadays to impress women would to be, honestly, to get laid. 
So since you're at it, go, go, go ahead, get laid, man, because you're not getting anything out of feminism. Besides that, if it even happens, you're not getting anything out of feminism. So if you're not getting pussy for free, what are you getting out of feminism? And that is both misandric and misogynistic. Good job. So if you're not getting pussy, mate, then I suggest you leave the movement. I will not call that behavior out because those are, for the most part, adults who have to answer to their own consciences. What are you doing to stop this kind of behavior in your community? I am going to continue to do nothing because policing the actions of others and white knighting causes that don't affect me is not something I do. But you expect feminists to do this. 